Hello, this is Dr. James Simono. You can call me Jim Simono. I'm the director of Child Evangelism Fellowship of North Alabama. I'm delighted to be with you. We've been studying how to pray through the Lord's Prayer and then taking a little time to pray as well. We started off by praying to our Father. He's our Father, those of us who've repented and trusted in Jesus, creator of all, sustainer of all, and the one who's given new life to those who repent and trust in him. Our Father who art in heaven, he oversees everything. Nothing is hidden from his sight. Hallowed be thy name. We respect him. And we pray for his kingdom to come. God's vision is the best vision. Different people have visions for the way they want things to turn out. God's way of everything turning out is the best of all. The best thing for us, we ought to long for it and pray for it. Some say that's the main point of the Lord's Prayer. But then the next phrase, I'm in Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done. What is God's will? Many people ask that question. Well, God has told us a great deal about what his will is. I have here just a, a picture of what the Ten Commandments would look like. You can look up the Ten Commandments for yourself and then the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. It both tells us what a Christian is and what a Christian ought to be. There are many different places in the New Testament where God, through his servant Paul, those who believe in Jesus are told to trust in Jesus and to follow him by loving one another, by being obedient to parents, by showing God's will in the way that they live. By trusting Jesus, we're not earning our way into heaven, we're not earning God's favor, but if we're God's children, we're showing God's glory by the way that we live. Thy will be done is exactly what we mean when we're praying for that. Why should we want God's will to be done? Because God said so. God told us to pray for this. We're to be gathered together and do his will. His will is the best thing for us. Jesus perfectly did his Father's will, even prayed in the garden, Lord, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. The Holy Spirit helps us pray for God's will to be done. Lord, help us want what you want. Paul prayed for this in following Jesus. We do not cease to pray for you, as you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. God's children should want God's will. Jesus said, who are my mother and my brothers and my sisters? Whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. God uses our prayers as a part of his plan. We pray for his will to be done. Lord, we want your sovereign will, your perfect will, even your secret will to be done, to be finally accomplished. And even now, everything that you have showed us in your word to do, help us to do it. Help us to be believing, obedient children. God, you've promised that your will is the best thing for us. I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil to give you a future and a hope. We can't do God's will without his help. There's none righteous, no, not one. If Jesus doesn't help us and give us a new life, we couldn't do the Father's will. See, when we become Christians, we not only repent and receive God's forgiveness, but his help to do his holy will. We have great foes that stand against us, and we'll talk about it later as we pray that God would protect us from evil. But we long for heaven. We long to do God's will. It says in the scripture that Jesus delights to do the Father's will. We should delight to do his will as well and want it for ourselves and for others and see that it's the very best thing for us. Sometimes we fight it. God forgive us. Let's pray together for God's will to be done perfectly on earth as it's perfectly done in heaven. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for showing us your will and your word. Father, sometimes we see it and we don't want to do it because of the residual sin in us. But Father, we pray that you would more and more help us want your will and then to do it, to do it perfectly like the angels that continue to worship you in heaven and faithfully serve and follow you. Help us do your will and help others also to do your will. Father, it's what's the very best for us. We long for the day when everyone will finally and fully do your will. But even now, take away anything that might keep us from doing your will and help us believe you and through the strength that Jesus gives to will and to work to do your good pleasure. For it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.